Okay, so let's say you're trying to type in a linear equation, but you don't have a TI-84, 83 calculator, and you want to find a table of values. Let's say you have a question that's asking for a table of values. One thing you can do is just plug in your, your linear equation. So you have your 0.4x, which is your slope, and your y-intercept of 0.32. If you look up at this settings symbol here, you have a table it'll convert that line to a table. Now let's say you have certain values you want to look at. Let's say you're looking at 3. All you do is plug in that value. Let's say you want to look at 18. Let's say you want to look at a 13. and It'll actually give you the result for y. It'll help you fill out your table. Uh, you can get rid of these other values just by deleting. Let's say you want to add another line, add another line, and um, this time it gives you a fraction. If you do 3 divided by 4, it'll actually turn into a fraction for you. And let's say you have minus 3 and 3 fourths. You could, you could put it in, you could put it in like this, put your improper fraction. I'm sorry, that should have been a, a right arrow. Here I'm going to hit a right arrow to get to my other parentheses. And I can actually make a 3 and 3 fourths line there. You could change this to um, 15 over 4 if you want, right? Um, and then again, I want to switch it to a table and look at some of my values as negative 23, negative 13. Maybe these are some of the values they're asking me. And negative 3 here. And then this will give you my table of values. It also gives you your graph and gives you some of the points I have as far as um, whole numbers go.